Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for a uh, interesting experiment. So, we are going to be taking our very, very much so off-road prepped uh, Nissan Titan Warrior and attempting to convert it into a drift truck. I don't know if this is going to work. This is kind of one of those weird challenges that whether or not it actually ends up working it's going to end up being fun regardless. So we're going to leave the diesel engine in it because I just want to, I, I want to keep the diesel engine. I want to keep the torque. And I think that it's, I think, that, I mean, I think it would be really cool to keep that kind of a setup. Now the tires, let's see. Oh, we can't change the tire compound. Okay. That's the, that's that then. Well, what about, sus uh, we can't do suspension either. Oh, God, we can't do a different suspension setup. Like, it has to be the suspension that comes with it, which sucks because, like, okay, wait. So, 988 horsepower and 1,769 foot-pounds of torque. So, everything's maxed. This is going to be a massive exercise in tuning. This is not going to be an exercise in anything else. It's going to be exercise in tuning. So, when I say an exercise in tuning... I mean, we are going to have to basically push the tuning system almost as far as we can get it to go uh, to, to make this thing somewhat, like, somewhat resemble a drift setup. Now, since we can't put a drift suspension on it, we're going to have to resort to doing it the old-fashioned way, which is completely and totally tuning-based. So, we're going to a 456 rear end which may or uh, may help us, it may hurt us. We may have to dial it back a little bit, but front camber is going to be up to negative five degrees. Rear camber is going to be one and a half. Going to do a good bit of toe out. Well, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is a good bit. And then we're going to push the caster almost all the way out. This is going to be weird. This is going to be really weird. Uh, we're stiffening the rear sway bar. I have no idea if this setup's going to work. Stiffening the rear springs. And eh, we'll leave the dampening alone, like, for a minute. And uh, then, the, you know what we're going to do also? Acceleration and deceleration are going to go up to 100%. And, oh, the ride height. I forgot to do the ride height. Okay, the ride height needs to come all the way down. This thing is going to be slammed. And I know that there's a lot of people that are going to disagree heavily with this setup choice. Because, oh my god. Holy wow. I did not expect it to do that. <laughs> I did not expect it to look like that. Oh my god. Oh. That is heavily tucked. What the? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. It works! It works! Oh my god, it works! I, 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 I feel like I should moderately apologize for flipping out, but I'm not going to because it freaking works! It's a little weird, not gonna lie, but let's see what happens when we throw it into a corner at high, high speeds. That is, that is a ultimate drift at over 100 miles an hour in a slammed Nissan Titan that's been converted to rear-wheel drive. I feel mildly proud of this because it actually kind of works. I was not expecting this to work. I was expecting this to be like one of those horrible experiments gone wrong. But dude, look, it actually carries on a drift. Uses all that torque. <laughs> and it's hilariously fun. It's absolutely hilariously fun. It's one of those things where it's like, like you don't expect it to work. And to be honest, yeah, you're not going to be setting any like, you know, leaderboard toppling scores in this thing. But you are going to have the time of your life. And especially if you're in like, if you're in like a drift group. Oh my God. Like if you and your friends have a drift lobby going and you pull this thing out. It's it's just like it's just gonna be over at that point because like people are gonna look at this thing and they're gonna go why the hell are you drifting that and then it's gonna actually somewhat work now again like I said it's not gonna really win anything but just the fact that it can do what it's already been doing is oh god that was horrible yeah just the fact that it can do that and just like kind of follow through with it is amazing to me 
absolutely freaking amazing to me. So we're going to go ahead and head for one of my favorite drift sections that's right up ahead. And we're going to kind of warm up just a little bit heading down these hills. And we will see what we can get ourselves into with this setup. That wasn't really a drift. I wouldn't call that a drift. Oh! I'm just staying flat to the floor through that stuff. That's like... That's nutty. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. Ooh. That was like, I kind of gave up on that drift because I was like, if I follow through with this, I'm going in the field. Oh, found the, found like the, the end of steering angle. To be fair, it's actually got more steering angle than I would have expected. Like it's got more steering angle than you would think something like this would have. And you know what I probably need to do and what would probably help is actually reducing the rear tire width because um, it's got a lot of tire underneath it right now, like a lot of tire. Now, to be fair, it's got a lot of power and torque, too, but there, there comes a point at which a tire this tall, you know, will still develop that much resistance that you can't really spin it up under power all the time at high speed. So definitely going to like going to kind of like look into that, but... Holy crap, it's so much fun. And it shouldn't work. It, it shouldn't work this well. I mean, and, and again, like I said, you know, it's nothing amazing. It's really not. But again, it still shouldn't work this well. It really shouldn't work this well. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Oh, that's the end of steering angle right there. I was going to say, like, oh. Just use that torque, that huge, huge torque. Not going to be concerned about the speed zone. <laughs> it just works so well. I know I just seem like I'm freaking out about this thing over and over and over again, but I didn't expect it to, to, to be like this. I didn't expect it to... Whoa, and there's our first spin. Save it with a burnout. Come on, save it with... Aw, oh, come on. That burnout was worthy of saving it, I think. Let's see what it can do up here on this drift zone. I do not expect it to do well. This is more of just like, just to see what happens. Oh yeah, this is not going to be anywhere near my best run. Oh god, oh god, I expected more angle than it wanted to give me. <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. I think that's one of the biggest things you gotta adjust to is like, yeah, this is not gonna give you the angle that you're used to, especially if you're used to drifting anything with either drift suspension or anything from the Formula Drift Pack. Oh my god, you are not gonna get the angle that you're used to out of this thing. But, you're gonna get more angle than you expect, and I definitely, definitely got more angle than I expected out of this thing. One more time, just to see. Oh, yeah. Dude. You have arrived at your what the? I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's only like 10,000 points less than my best score on that zone. That's ridiculous. I can't believe this thing did that. I can't believe this thing is doing what it's doing at all. It's still just incredible to me. It's absolutely ridiculous to me. Oh, I know exactly where we need to go. I know exactly where we need to go. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. This is going to be... This is... Oh, this is going to be hilarious. But it's going to... It's, it's going to show us whether or not this thing has true potential. I mean, like... We know already that it has comedic potential, but whether or not it has, like, you know, truly competitive potential, I, I don't think so. But I think it would be hilarious. Like, like for somebody that's got a little bit, like, like more, um, like, drift skill, for example, it would be hilarious for you to go, like, build this and go on and beat your friends that might not be quite as good but are using way more highly prepped cars. And, you know, you could topple their leaderboard scores in a truck. That would be just just silly but it would be hilarious god if you keep it in the torque band it works much much better it's not an amazing score but i mean dude you gotta always like you gotta always think like you gotta remember what we're driving here that's like 
that's that's in my opinion that's that's for a first run on that zone that's great for a truck that weighs this much and is this huge and is running max tire width yeah i approve i wholeheartedly approve what a beast and here we go. Holy crap, that's not bad. Holy crap, that is not bad. Whoa. Whoa. Holy what? Oh my god. You have arrived at your destination. That's okay. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, I've got to say. That's pretty damn good, like, for what this thing is. My god, I... <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this setup, just because it's so freaking hilarious. It looks silly. Don't get me wrong, it looks really silly, but my god, is it fun. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Boards of Horizon 4 with this new build, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. If you have new suggestions for any new builds, make sure you leave them down there in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe for more, turn on those notifications, and I'll talk to you guys later.